welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. I'm Britta and this is Carly. Hi, we're going to be doing our September favorites today. First up is an affordable product, so I think we can all appreciate that. It's the ColourPop Press Powder Face Pressed Bronzer in the shade Afternoon Delight. First of all, look at that mirror. Like, that's a nice mirror. Because no, this I'm thing is like it so that you guys can $6, see. $7. 7 with the compact? 7 with the compact. I think. I think so too. And yeah, this is the shade Afternoon Delight. And in the pan, it looks pretty dark, but it really is a great bronzer formula because it is more of like a sheer to buildable coverage. Yes. So it doesn't like go on super harsh. I love the pan size. It, it's a matte, but it doesn't make you look like super flat. Like mm -hmm. we can swatch it. Yeah, they definitely did such a good job with this formula. Yeah, like see, it's kind of sheer on your hand. Like, yeah. And this color, I would definitely sheer on your hand. You might not even be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. We haven't tried any of the other shades. We actually lucked out because we just like ordered guessed. them the day they launched mm -hmm. and guessed. But we ended up really liking this shade. It has some warmth to it. That's my only con is there doesn't seem to be any in the range that are more cool toned or like even neutral, neutral. toned. Like will you, I don't think any of them you could contour with. No. So hopefully they release more shades in the future because we will be purchasing. But yeah, we're both really happy with this. Yeah, and these pants pop out too so you can put them in a Z palette. Mm -hmm. um, Marlena and Makeup Geek actually sent us some other shadows and they sent it to us in the Z palette. So you already know we love Makeup Geek shadows. Mm -hmm. They're our absolute favorite single shadows. Well, we love Anastasia too. But yeah, they're probably tied. And but we love ColourPop too. I know. <laughs> but these are talc free, so they're good for my eyes. So I think Mega Geek has to be my favorite for that reason. Anyways, we love the shadows, so we're not going to talk about those too much. But they sent these Z palettes over, and we didn't know Mega Geek like made their own Z palettes. But this is so amazing. So because first so of all, it's great. like super heavy, super durable, and beautiful. And then it has this ginormous mirror on the inside. And it's like heavy and yeah. nice. Yeah, it's so nice and like. It fits, well, I guess technically it nine fits shadows. ten. Oh, wait, it fits ten? Yeah, I already changed out the shadows um, to include all of my favorite shadows because we went on a trip recently, and I fit ten shadows in here. Yeah, that's amazing. But we were, a yeah, lot of so these are makeup geek. The reason that we love this so much is because it's so good for traveling because it has the mirror. Like we And went, it's a hard case. Yeah, it's super hard. Like, we went out of town, and I usually only bring my small, the small size deep palette that fits nine shadows, because it's so easy to just grab and it has Me all too. my favorite shadows. But then this has the mirror. And so, yeah. like, we didn't I, really have a mirror no, out of place. I yeah. legitimately sat on the ground and used this mirror to do my makeup. And we were going to a wedding. So I was, like, doing really nice makeup. And I was, an, I'm now obsessed. Like, I will never go on another trip without this. Yeah, and we'll probably just buy more. I, I know. I wonder if they have more sizes. I hope oh, she we'll does. We'll have to look. Yeah. I mean, we love Marlena. We love Makeup Geek. And this is just, like, a gem. Uh, so I feel amazing. Like. Another Makeup Geek product that was sent to us is this Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. And we've also never tried her brushes. Mm -hmm. So this was an exciting opportunity. And we love this brush. It's my new favorite brush, 100%. It's like, so, oh, yours is so much bigger than mine. <laughs> She's used it more. <laughs> I use it a lot. But it's so great for not only the crease, but I really like it for like the outer color because I feel like it's small and tapered. I mean, you could use this. I use it today to blend out shadow under my eye. Like this is so it's a multi the most versatile brush yeah. I've ever owned because I like to use it for the crease if I'm using a darker shade so I can focus it kind of on the outer V and then blend it into the crease. I feel like it's perfect for that, but you could also even use it with like a black or a dark shadow and even dot it into the outer V like because it's so small. It can yeah. just get into anywhere. Yeah. And honestly, the older I get, the more I love precise tiny brushes for everything. Yeah. For like my bronzer, my blush, like I'm just kind of over big brushes because I feel like when you're more precise, your makeup just turns out better. So this brush is just like Yeah. Perfect. And I will say L makes a like defined crease brush that's I think three dollars I ordered it from their website and at first I was like oh this is such a good dupe for this brush um, but it is a little bit bigger but if you don't want to spend the money on this brush Elf does have that one that's also more of a defined crease brush, but I feel like these types of brushes are just hard to find. Yeah, and they're it's a good investment. This is so nicely made. It the is. bristles are so soft. I mean, I've been using this one over since I've gotten this. I've used it every single day. I haven't used my Elf one, so I will say this is better quality, but if you're looking to save some money. Next up is an eyeshadow palette. This is the e.l.f. Holy Smokes palette. We did a full review video on this mm -hmm. and the other Mad for Matte palettes. We'll link that down below. But this is just like... Ugh. Every time I look at it, I'm like, it's so pretty. Like, it's perfect. It's so perfect. It has like these beautiful warm tones right here that you could easily just use these three to create a look. 
But then you also have some amazing jewel tones, like this green and this blue are just stunning. The matte black is honestly incredible. It's so black. I honestly am not going to swatch it right now because it just is going to be like black all over my hand. And then you have a beautiful cream shade. The gray is like an interesting something it adds to something yeah i, I mean Best i just love it drugstore eyeshadow palette ever seriously it's so good the quality is amazing like so much better than the other elf palettes and i mean we like those ones if you watch the video we do like those but this one just exceeded our expectations it's ten dollars and these shades like we're kind of over a lot of palettes i feel like as mm -hmm. most people are like i feel like they all look the same at this point, like, we get good quality in drugstore, we get good quality in higher-end brands that, like, I'm so proud of Elf for doing something so different. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, last product that we're both going to talk about. This is the Kristen S. Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. And, oh my god. This is amazing. So good. Amazing. We have talked about our, I put the Kristen S., signature shampoo in our last favorites video we have since bought the conditioner and then also this um they all have like a similar smell like a very like rich like perfume like fragrance aroma which honestly i think is making me break out of my skin. it does i mean it smells <laughs> but like, it's worth it i love it it smells like like look at this mister i don't know if you can see <laughs> so powerful it's so powerful it smells like and fine fresh i would yes. say like oh like a fresh it fresh. just smells but like not florally, luxury. not florally, like maybe just a little florally. Really? It smells like a luxury fragrance. Like I don't even know how to describe it. Like yeah. it just smells rich. And like, her packaging, can we like it's beautiful? Just stare at this. And basically, what this is, if you don't know what a texturizing spray is, is it just kind of like gives your hair grit, so you can like spray it on the ends, spray it in the roots, and it kind of like gives you volume in your roots. And basically, if you like choose your hair, it'll like hold it. And it just makes it look like messy and pretty. We, like we said, we went to a wedding last weekend. We both used this. And I loved how my hair looked so much more than if I would have just sprayed hairspray in. I know. And we have fine hair. Mm -hmm. So we definitely need texturizing spray because our hair can look a little flat. Yeah. And it also, since we do have fine hair, we don't want anything that weighs it down. And this is incredibly lightweight yeah. on the hair. And it says it's a soft matte texture. Definitely. It doesn't look shiny and it doesn't look matte. Like it's a perfect like look, it just it's perfect. Natural. Don't buy the Orbe one. Like, yeah, apparently good, but this is yeah. This is we've fun. watched some videos and they're apparently dupes. So if you love the Orbe texturizing spray, this is like fourteen dollars for the think, price. Yeah. So I would just get this. It's it's amazing. And you get how many ounces in here? Six point nine. I feel like that's a lot. Yeah, it's. I think it's big. It's, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> We were both on the hunt for a new face powder this month. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I talked about this so many times, but I developed tal talc allergy and most powder she products. She says talc, like T-A-L-C. What, what is it? Well, talc. I don't know, some people might not know what it is. So okay, just, yeah. yeah. It's bad, for, it's bad for your skin, especially bad for my skin, and it's found in most powder products, so like blushes, face powder, definitely eyeshadows. Um, so I've just kind of been like trying to slowly get it out of my all my makeup. And I started with face products for obvious reasons. So I picked up this NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. It's on the website. On, it says there's no talc in this, and I haven't had like a reaction or anything. So hopefully there's no talc in this, because I do, I really, really love it. Obviously, it's in this video. And um, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Max Mineralize powder. Yeah, it's a natural one. one. Yeah, I mean, obviously, so it was dome-shaped, and you, it's like I've used so much of it. It's just like the most beautiful finish ever. It's, it has like the most gorgeous sheen to it, so it makes your skin look very radiant, whereas before, I was definitely using a more matte, or as they say, invisible powder. But this just makes my skin look healthy, glowy, awake. And I have the shade Light. And I think this shade was exclusive to Sephora Online. Or not, Sephora Ulta Online. Um, but they have a huge shade range. And it just like looks so flawless. It's so finely milled. It just sinks into the foundation. It blends as one. It doesn't make you look cakey at all. I'm so obsessed. And it's a little bit pricey for the drugstore but it's really good quality and I think you definitely get what you pay for with this item. Okay, and the powder that I picked up is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I don't have the cap right now because I had some powder in it and I didn't want to put it back on. Number one, the packaging has this like cool little thing so it protects everything from falling out because mm -hmm. it's like a plastic that goes in the holes so that's really nice. 
This is really expensive. It's like $37 for, I mean, I think it's under an ounce. Really? Yeah, 0 0.35 ounces. So it's pricey, but I did my research and I read so many reviews, and a lot of people said that they switched to this after finding out that the Laura Mercier has talc in it. And that's a you know super popular powder. Oh, and I have the shade Translucent Light, which is really nice. They make it into translucent shades so that people with like darker skin don't have that white cast, and people with really light skin don't have like too much darkness. Like it's just really great that they did that. And this is the most finely milled powder I think I've ever used. You I barely even like put any on, but somehow, kind of like Britta said, it's less mattifying than the powder we were using, which is the RCMA, but it doesn't give a sheen, Brita's is more of like a sheen, but it also doesn't mattify. Like it literally looks, after I put it on, I feel like it looks like I didn't really put powder on, but it lays the powder down so my other powder products can go on top of it. And I put cream products on top of this product and it still works. Like that's so how- really just blends in. Yeah, that's how like blendable this powder is. I already ordered a second one when it was on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and I just don't think I'll ever use another powder because like I said, it gives me what I want, which is like something to set my foundation and be a nice base for the rest of my powder products, but it doesn't make me look cakey, powdery, dry. It's just like perfect. I feel like if you have dry skin, you would love this. Probably that one too. Yeah, this is amazing for dry skin. I mean, it's called the no filter because I think it's just like literally makes your skin look flawless. Like I've never had a powder that makes my skin look so good. This is the most random favorite ever in my life, but it's this like electronic fan. You can hear how powerful it is. And I got it because my nighttime skincare routine is a bit excessive at the moment. And so you know how you're supposed to wait for like each layer to dry before moving on. And I'm just the most impatient person ever. So I'm like, I need a fan to dry like product after product. So it definitely helps me like with my skincare routine cut down on time. But I have gotten my hair caught in it a couple times. Carly's had to help me. There's actually hair in it right now. So if you're like me and just like totally klutzy and never know what you're doing, um, be careful, beware of this fan because it will catch your hair in it. But I think for $10, it's just like, it's super helpful. It, I use it for setting spray in the morning. Like, you know, it just kind of helps meld everything together um, quicker. And I just think it's like, it's kind of like a life hack situation. Mm -hmm. So next up is something that I never thought I would put in a favorites video. It's the Glossier Generation G Lipstick in Like. And I got this a while ago, but I was like, eh, like it's all right, the packaging is okay, and the color is really pretty, but like really is it like worth, I think it's like $18 it retails for. And then I found myself, I put this in my purse, and I found myself using it like every single day. Like when I'm at work, or when like my, existing lip color has worn off and I'm like, oh, I just need something to throw on. I throw this on and now I'm just like obsessed because I think it's like the perfect everyday lip. Let me swatch it for you. It's a sheer matte finish, so it's very sheer and it definitely dries down matte and because it dries down matte, but it still has that like kind of lip balmy feel, I just love how it looks on my lips because it doesn't, it kind of like masks my fine lines and it doesn't sink into them. It feels really comfortable, but it still gives me some color. I really particularly like this shade because I feel like it's kind of like a subtle berry shade. Mm -hmm. So it just really is like complimentary, complimentary to my skin tone and like my eye color. I don't know, I'm a huge fan. I might buy more of them, which is something like, like I said, I legitimately never thought I'd say because I thought it was kind of like a, a rookie. Rip yeah, like a rip off. But I really like these. I think that they're just they're just so easy to throw on. I'm I'm a fan. But we just started contributing to a blog. It's Danny Barbe. She's a jeweler and her jewelry is amazing. So we had to share it with you guys. These are some of the rings she makes. She definitely specializes in like dainty jewelry, gold jewelry with beautiful stones and so like stunning. Which I mean, if you've ever seen any of our videos, you know that's the only stuff we wear. Like this gold ring mm -hmm. we wear all the time. We'll wear like turquoise stuff, but we never are into like statement pieces. It's yeah. just not our personality. So like this type of stuff, like we were almost in tears at how beautiful it is because it's stunning. She sells it at Anthropology. Some of them at Anthropology. Some of them, yeah. Everything's available on her website, which we'll link down below. We'll link down below. And um, yeah, like this one is my favorite. It's just so unique. It's like a circle gold ring with stones in the middle. I just love like how unique her pieces are. I feel like if someone were to see someone else wearing this on the street, it's like her brand is super recognizable. And then she also makes these amazing cuffs. Like, like, look how pretty. They're so We'll beautiful. insert pictures because I don't know if you can see them right now. Yeah, we'll definitely insert some photos so you can, like, get a closer look. But, like, 
how cool are these? They're square, which makes them super unique. And like just the stone she uses, I mean, she's doing everything right. These are absolutely yeah, stunning. And they would make great gifts for like the holidays, as you know, is coming up. So we'll link everything down below. And we just love her. She's super sweet. And we're really enjoying writing for her blog. So check it out. Next up is a nail polish favor, or last up, and it's OPI You Don't Know Jocks. And this shade has been around for a long time. I know it's been really popular. I went and got my nails done with my coworkers like three months ago, and I picked this shade off the shelf, and I like mental note was like, need to go buy that shade, need to go buy that shade, and then like never did until like a few weeks ago, and it's all I've been wearing. My nails aren't painted right now. And forgive mine for being <laughs> such a summer color. It had to do with a previous content piece, but yeah. ignore, ignore this. Um, but yeah, the shade is just so perfect for fall and winter. I've been wearing it, like I said, nonstop on my toes and my hands. I just love it. It's really hard to describe, but it's I kind would of... I say it's like... It's like a deep gray purple. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe with like a hair of brown a in there. A dusty gray purple. Yeah. It's beautiful, and I love it, and it's just one of my go-to polishes right now. And I think everyone should have it, because I legitimately think it would look good on everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching our September favorites. Please let us know your favorites down below. We always love to hear.